Hey guys, I'm super excited. I got my brand new AMD Radeon Pro W5500 in the mail today. Here's what it looks like. It's got four display ports and it also has the uh, six prong power plug on the opposite side. And I gotta tell you, it's made incredibly well. It's got a, uh, the aluminum uh, faceplate, aluminum siding, and I can't wait to try it out with SolidWorks and Visualize and you know see how it does against the competition it's got 8 gigs of ram uh, 224 gigabyte uh, bandwidth on the ram and it's running the new 7 nanometer architecture the rdna architecture so can't wait to try it can't wait to give it a shot and see how it rips in solidworks and visualize cool let's try it out all right, now that we got the drivers installed, restarted the computer, installed the GPU, we're ready to go give this thing a test. So I've loaded up SolidWorks with the, you know, medium heavy file. The reason why I like this file so much is it's got little, little text, um, some small font, it's got a lot of components, it's got assembly patterns, and a bunch of mates at the top level. In fact, if we go take a look at uh, performance evaluation, then we can see that there's a total of 321 parts and 135 top level mates with an assembly depth of five. So, you know, this is a pretty heavy file um, for a basic GPU. Uh, you know, it might struggle or definitely integrated GPU would not be a good idea, but let's see how this AMD W5500 Radeon Pro graphics card does in SOLIDWORKS. So what I have here is a uh, uh, my task manager open so you can see I'm running the AMD W5500 and here's our GPU usage. Now um, some a couple years back SOLIDWORKS integrated uh, the rotating and, and graphical function of the rotate into the GPU. In past years it was just C CPU specific but here what we should see upon rotate is um, the GPU get pegged. Um, also keep in mind that I'm running recording software at the same time that I'm doing this. So the usual idle on this uh, GPU is somewhere around like three to six, depending on what I'm doing. So we're a little high right now just because I'm recording. Okay, we're gonna start off with a simple rotate using the arrow keys, right? This is gonna put us at about oh, 22, 23%. Um, I find this one to be a little easier on the GPU when you're using the arrow keys. But next we're gonna go ahead and do our center mouse button rotate and then just click and rotate the part. We should see the CPU usage or GPU usage rather spike. Here we're getting up to 74%, somewhere in that range. Um, no real artifacts showing up. Uh, very responsive on the user interface side. I really like the feel of it. And all in all, really happy with the W5500 as far as performance goes. One thing I have to mention is that, uh, you know, AMD sure does give you a lot for the money. The bang for the buck is certainly there. And uh, that's why I've been using them uh, with SolidWorks for the last decade or so. AMD also offers some really innovative features to like simplify your process, um, workflows, and essentially speed up your machine. Um, some of those are like the remote workstation that's included, the Radeon Relive for VR, which is kind of cool. So if you're using VR, it's a really cool application to help you out with that. And then the Radeon Pro Image Boost. So one of the really cool things about this GPU is that is a, it is a seven nanometer graphics card. So this thing should be lightning fast. All right, so the next thing we're gonna try is jumping into SolidWorks Visualize. So Visualize now supports the AMD Pro Render Engine option in your tools options. You can change your render engine from the iRay to AMD Pro Render. So this card isn't officially released yet at the time of this video. It'll release sometime in, in the first week of February. Um, that's why it says uncertified there, but this will be a certified card for SolidWorks and for Visualize. Uh, here in the near future. So right now I have the render engine set to um, basic mode. So you're just seeing kind of like a cartoon image of it. Um, this is really good for animations, but really where it gets impressive 
is when I bump this up to the accurate mode and you can see just how fast this thing starts rendering. You can go ahead and take a look at my passes in the lower left hand side and then the polygon count to give yourself you know, a good uh, estimate about how to compare maybe your models with the model that here, that's here on the screen. The more polygons, the longer it takes to render. Awesome, so that's a first look at the AMD W5500 from AMD. A brand new seven nanometer graphics card, it's amazing. And all in all, I'm really impressed with the performance in both SOLIDWORKS and Visualize. So be sure to keep on the lookout for this release of the W5500 and all the new stuff that's coming from AMD. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.